now the third part is called the amplitude of accommodation. That how we can find the near end, how we can find the price perfect correction with the help of the amplitude of accommodation. So the question is that how we can find the amplitude of accommodation. We have discussed about the amplitude of accommodation. That the amplitude of accommodation is the ability of an eye that how much that eye can exert accommodation. That peak of accommodation in that specific eye is called the amplitude of accommodation, right? So how we can, the question is how we can find that amplitude of accommodation? The answer is with the help of the RF rule, right? The Royal Air Force rule. With the help of the Royal Air Force rule, we can find the amplitude of accommodation. We can find the near point of convergence. We can find the near point of accommodation, right? These th three phenomena we can find with the help of the RF rule. And if you want a detailed video regarding the RF rule, you can watch this video. The link is in the description, right? So, for example, with the help of the RF rule, we find that plus three is our amplitude of accommodation, which is total amplitude of accommodation, right? And one more thing, this is the total amplitude of accommodation, right? So half of that total amplitude of accommodation, what is the half of that plus three is plus 1.5, right? That half of the amplitude of accommodation is reserved value. This 1.5 is reserved in the eye, right? This half of amplitude of accommodation is not going to use in the near add, is not going to use in the press biopic correction. The rest of the half, which is in the red marker, right? This is used for the near add, right? This is, is in the reserved form, which is not contributed in the near add. And the rest of the amplitude of accommodation is used, is contributed as the near add, right? So the half of the amplitude of accommodation is plus 1.5. Again, with the RF rule, we find that the plus 3 is the total amplitude of accommodation. We make it two parts of that total amplitude of accommodation. One is plus 1.5 and other one is plus 1.5. That half is not used as near end and the rest of the near uh, amplitude of accommodation is used as, is contributed as near end. This is not contributed as near end. This value is contributed as the near end, right? So the half of the amplitude of accommodation is plus 1.5, right? So the formula is, near add is equal to working distance minus half of amplitude of accommodation. This is the formula. With this formula, we can find the near add. So what is actually the working distance? First, we will discuss about what is actually the working distance. You know that in when we are ready, different patient has different normal working distance. Right? In different age group, the working distance, the desired working distance of that specific patient is different. Right? Suppose, the question is that how can we find the desired working distance of that patient? Right? So, if, if a patient came in your clinic for the near head, for the press biopic correction, you will uh, have a near chart in his hand, right? And you will ask the patient that hold that chart at his or her desired working distance and you will measure that desired working distance and that working distance would be his or her desired working distance. Suppose that desired working, working distance from where our patient read out anything or any reading material, that desired working distance is 40 centimeter, for example, right? So now we have our working distance, which is 40 centimeter. Our patient read his book, our patient read his laptop, our patient read his mobile, from 40 centimeter that is required that the desired working distance of our patient right and amplitude of accommodation we have concluded we have gained our amplitude of accommodation with the help of RF rule that was plus 3 right and half value of that total amplitude of accommodation is plus 1.5 because the total was plus 3 half is contributed and half is taken as reserved right so we have working distance 40 centimeter and we have 
half of amplitude of a competition that is plus 1.5 so now our working distance is in centimeter and our amplitude is in dioptric form so first we have to convert that centimeter into dioptric form the formula is very easy you know we have discussed d is equal to 1 over f 1 over f is distance 1 over 40 that 40 is in centimeter we have to convert in meter so for that 100 over 40 centi 40 so the answer would be 100 divided by 40 the answer would be 2.5 diopters right so now we have two values and both of the values are in dioptric form so now the case is easy working distance was 40 centimeter we converted that 40 centimeter into dioptric form and now working distance is in dioptric form and that is 2.5 diopter so working distance is plus 2.5 we have to deduct half of the amplitude of accommodation from the working distance and half of the amplitude of accommodation is plus 1.5 because the total was plus 3 we take half of the amplitude of accommodation that is plus 1.5 so we will solve it plus 2.5 plus minus minus 1.50 and the near add value would be plus 1 so this is this plus 1 spherical is our near add right so that is called the amplitude of accommodation and now we will discuss the fourth part of the, the fourth method for the near end or for the press by correction. And now fourth value is fourth method for the press by correction if used to checks and cross cylinder.